Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Dungeons of Tal'Doria. This one is in early access. Still being actively development. Uh, being ab actively developed. But, which is weird, because they say this is version 1.1.0a. Now, maybe they've changed this policy, but I thought anything below 1.0 was considered a beta. Right? Anyway, let's uh, let's play the game. New character. Uh, my name is Hogaru. Feel like you probably should know that. They're gonna add new species. Is 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 Archer, obviously. Uh, hardcore mode. <laughs> this option's not working yet, but whenever it will, uh, you will not be revived after you died. Okay, I'm just gonna fix that for you. But when it is. You will not be revived after you die. See? Alright, that's that's what you have to change that to. Now I'm just being a jerk. Alright, let's go, Hogaru, human archer. I can find dungeons while exploring a biome. Okay, so it's uh it's dungeon crawling and it's a bit of terraria slash minecraft. That that general vibe. I got what they're going for. Okay, you can move through the do 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 do. I really thought I was going to be able to use my joystick. Got it all ready to go. On the bottom of the screen is your action bar. You can put consumable items in your skills on any field. Ugh. Field? Saddle is clearer, but. Yeah, anyway. Uh, press the corresponding key on your keyboard to use. Like, I just want to point out we're not using Excel, okay? You don't have to call them field. Why am I nitpicking about this? Uh, you press Alt to make your cursor visible without opening any window. Good to know. Left, by pressing the left mouse button, you are using your basic attack. Oof. Try it out in the chest close to you and collect the stuff with that. So, as always, I'm going to make the same offer I always do when people are not 100% solid in their English. If you pay me the low, low price of $1 per page of text in the game, uh, you can contact me here on the channel or wherevs. For the low, low price of $1 per page of all the text in the game, or whatever text you need proofed, I will proof your text and make it readable. Basically, just fix the English. Alright, so... Let's try this. Yay! You can hold down the button to just continuously attack. You found your first food. Nice. There are two types of food. Okay. Temporarily. Oh, nice. Okay. You should make better food by pressing N to open your crafting window. Ah. Yes, let's make some grilled potatoes. I mean, I feel like I would need a grill, but whatevs. Thank you. All right. I guess that's that. Oh, wait, did you want me to keep crafting the grill potatoes? That actually makes a lot of sense. I can't make... Oh, I can't do it more than once. That's a little sad. Oh, and then I'll pass a level from having a crafting experience. Each skill will get slightly stronger each time you use them. Oh, that's, that's a dangerous way to build a game, guys. Um, if you build a game where you're skills get stronger via you using them then you put your player in a position where can i drag that over to q or e because that seems like it'd be way better at e there we go um that's going to cost them to just lean on that one thing over and over uh oh yes he parried and parried an arrow Feed your first enemy and just drop it. Okay, make sure you heal potions or healing food in your action bar. Press the corresponding key. I know. Ooh, a new bow. Nice. Benditos! Benditos with more health than I have experienced before. Ow. And who are good shots. Like, really good shots. I think it's the haircut. I think it's her haircut. Can I get a better bow, or... No, okay. Maybe it wasn't actually a better bow. 
Headshot do more damage? Well, I guess we'll have to wait to find out, won't we? Oh my god. 8, 8, 10. Nah, it's always doing the same. Yeah, take your shot, Bendito. Ah, what you didn't know about me is I can shoot while moving. You might have known that about me. I don't know you. Focus is 7 out of 10. Oh, focus is how you do spell points. Nice. Cool. Alright. I gotta stop going for headshots when I know for a fact they don't do any bonus damage. Can I at least get critical hits or some such? Sure. Alright, I should move, then do the thing, then move, then do the thing. Okay. That'll work a lot better. Alright, let's go find a dungeon. Yay, tattered cloth. Now I can craft a thing. Can I have the book? I cannot have the book. Now, if you were a dungeon, where would you be? I know that looks more like a town than a dungeon, but, you know, where else are you going to find a dungeon but on the outskirts of a town? It's just a logical place to build a dungeon. Or right at the center of town, conversely. Wow, there's a lot of banditos, aren't there? Oh, the skull over his head means he's over level for me, doesn't it? Well, I just take that as a challenge. Oh my god, he looks so crazy. Oh, there better be a, better be a ton of experience and a better weapon in this for me. No, he got me! Oh, no, he's got friends! Oh, this was a poorly thought-out plan. Luckily, I'm constantly healing, which is nice. I just realized I might have a run button. Oh, dodge roll, which is almost as good as running. Yeah! Maybe we should wait until some of my focus comes back before I try to keep this going, because this is proven to be something of a disaster. Come on! How many of these guys are there? Maybe they don't like torches. Hoguru, they spawned next to a campfire. Oh, right. We kill what? Where did the Bendito go? What the hell was that? Oh, they can just magically disappear if you get them too far away from their spawn point? Yeah, that sounds like garbage to me. What you're describing is garbage. Alright, I'm checking out this house instead. They better have a likewise super tough guy for me to kill. In case you're wondering, did that guy just parry an arrow I fired at his back that he didn't know was coming? Yeah, he's basically, uh, what do you call that dude? Daredevil. He's essentially Daredevil. Okay. Ooh, a Master Tanner. Oh. No. Fine. So. I'm not a fan of Benditos. Is it strange? Like, is there something wrong with the fact that I'm continuously healing? Because I don't remember using any items to make that happen. So go B for inventory. Ah. Right, so let's put those roasted potatoes in my... Oh. That's weird. Did I not make a bunch... Oh, that, that's a roast potato. Okay. Did not really look like one to me, but here we are. Merci beaucoup. Alright, seriously though, we have to find a dungeon. This is perfectly fine to just be dealing with... Oh, look, it's the wall at the end of the world. I'm kidding. It's just the wall that uh, separates this biome from the next biome. Ooh, what's all that lumber? There's lumber on the map. Okay, it was just a tree. Why does that tree, apart from all the other trees... 
Oh! No? So all the other trees you can't destroy, but those trees you can. I understand completely. Jerk. And I know that I'm the one ambushing him like some sort of a filthy road agent, but you know. Yay, armor! Ooh, automatically equipped. Nice. What the hell? Okay, I turned it creepy immediately. What's going on there? Okay, fine. Oh. Ah, yes, I've reached 2 4. Biome level 2 4? What does that mean? More importantly, what did you think you were trying to say, game? Well, these guys seem pretty tough. Ow. 48 experience points is nice. Hey, nice. Okay. Alright. Offense and defense. Great. What is... When do I pass a level? You want to give me a heads up about that? C is that. It's not character sheet. There's my... Hey, rapid fire's up to level two. Nice. Uh, Z. Crafting. M, G, F, T, text, P. Not Q. Very weird. That is a slime made out of ore? That sounds pretty weird. And I can do functionally zero damage to it. This was probably the wrong way to go when I'm this level and have starting weapons. Because again, I can do effectively zero damage to an ore slime. So, uh, here's something of note. Uh, if you pause any movie in the Amazon Prime video player and click on the X-ray button, it will tell you all of the char the actors visible on the screen and identify any music. It's quite strange and unnerving. So this is the Master Tanner's house. That purple thing is, I assume, a resource? Is that the ore I so desperately need to craft new weapons? It is! Yay! Alright, let's get this thing going. Well, that was amazing. Mental note. Please remind me to check out... Oh, I'm out of stand focus points. That was bad. Oh, wait. Did I not level up? How do I level up? Yeah, the... Uh, I remember... There being a game... Yes! Oh, okay. Yeah, you say, wait until I'm well prepared, right? But I didn't. And it's a biome, not a biome. Okay. Oh, okay. Look for it near the road. Anyway, uh, so there's this game that was, a, you know, an old-timey brawler. A Final Fight style game, except 3D. And the deal was, as you... Um, you had, like, different combos, like, dial-in combos. So, like, light punch, heavy punch, light punch was one co combo. Light punch, heavy punch, heavy punch was another. I mean, you understand the point. And when you did the third punch, it would do a special move to end the combo. And you specifically leveled up that combo, right? That... So where do you think this uh, portal is? You leveled up that combo, making it more powerful just by doing that combo. Which sounds great, except that gives you a really good incentive to do never do anything. But use that combo over and over again until you have beaten the entire game. Which, I will admit, is something I actually did in that game. Uh, and can you name that game, which was a 3D brawler from the PlayStation 2 era? that had that ill-conceived system? If you can, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention it, you will win a prize. 
Yes, sweet gold. I, I was about to comment on the fact that the horses were hovering over their legs, and then I realized I don't have legs either, so, you know, glass houses and all. But I still think there's a, like, quantitative difference because I'm just hovering over my shoes. But they're not hovering over their shoes. They're hovering over the bottom parts of their legs, and it's very creepy. Yes, I would love that. Alright, is this a tavern? Yes. Sorry, tavern. Traveling merchants. I would like to help you, sir. Uh, I would love to. I need copper ingots and softwood planks, neither of which I have. I need to craft them is the thing. Uh, what goods do you have? Okay, small bow. I've already got a bow. Wait, do I have a different bow? Oh, I should be checking the bow's stats. I see. So that bow does a lot more damage than the bow I'm currently using. Gotcha. And what about this bow? Less damage. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, switch over to the bow I need. So, character, backpack, uh, right click to equip. Boom! 50% improvement in my uh, bow slinging ability. Is that a bandito? It is. Oh, right click also activates the E command. I did not realize that. Nice. Oh, let's just die. How peculiar. Jump! Oh, I jump! Alright, let's see what is through here. I mean, I know it's another biome, but specifically which biome. Ooh, green plane. Oh, it's just more green planes. Oh, by level 2 to 4, do you mean that's what level I should be while adventuring? Please. That would make sense. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Boom. Okay. I got you. You just wait. So does my focus power ever go up? Like, do I ever get, you know, to charge up more uses of my special abilities, or, or not so much? I was just gonna ask, do you think there's like a sign for where the road is? Sorry, a sign for where the portal is along the road, or maybe where one of the dungeons are, but it does not look like that's the case. So, I mean, obviously, I uh, I said no to Fallout 76 because it, you know, looked like garbage. But uh, I gotta say, I have taken no small amount of Schadenfreude or shameful joy from from uh, watching a bunch of reviews. Oh, is that a dungeon? Ah. Oh. I should. Good to know. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I've been watching a lot of videos about how terrible the game is, and I'm like, wow, it really seems like they watched this. Whoa. I like his glowing health bar. I'm sure they do that outside, but you just can't see it because, you know, you're outside. No! Alright. And yeah, everything about it seems... That's exactly what it is, Tog. So with more of a focus on combat and dungeons and whatnot. Less crafting, more uh, RPG-style adventuring. 
But yeah, something about like the way the AI in this game works has reminded me of the complaints about uh, Fallout 76, which is that all sorts of people were realizing when they see the... Uh, Uh, when they see the gameplay of Fallout 76, they've realized, oh, I guess, uh, the enemy design and AI in this game, in this whole game series, has always kind of been garbage. Like, every single enemy just, like, rushes straight towards you. In a way that's kind of frustrating and overwhelming. Like, they don't have unique behaviors or things they do, all of them just see you and rush towards you, or pause and shoot you if they have a ranged weapon. But then they'll like shoot you and keep rushing and shoot you and keep rushing. Like there's no there's no tactics and there's no balance to it to make sure it's playable. And that flaw in AI and really, you know, game design was always papered over by the VATS system where you could stop time and choose your shots and it was just an awesome way to handle it. Whereas, if you remove VATS from the game, you're like, oh, I guess Fallout was just garbage this whole time and we never noticed it? And that seems to be the general consensus. Which I'll admit is something I never really thought about, because I enjoyed the... Oh no, you didn't say there was a skeleton wizard? He should be labeled as such. That was bad. Gotcha, Pally. I don't want this to come across as too overly critical of the game uh, Taldora, but I'm looking forward to getting back to World War I in about three minutes. You know what? There's no way that can't sound critical. I apologize. I was hoping to see what a boss looked like, but it's not that important to me. Hey, what's that over there? It bounced when I hit it? That's right. I can both move and shoot, giving me a uh, pretty obvious advantage over this dude. No! Okay, I'm almost dead. And I'd be sadder about that if I was emotionally invested in this, but I think it's pretty clear that I'm not. Yes! I can still enjoy killing a dude, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, look. It's a new hood. Thanks. Wait, did my health just go down when I ate that food? No, that can't be right. Oh! There's a giant test tube that I blew up. Nice. Alright, so I think we're gonna have to... Uh, do I have a map? I don't have a map, do I? Oh, that's sad. Like I said, I was hoping to find a boss, but it's really not that much of a priority. Why am I not hitting him? Am I even firing things? Okay, I was. Aha. Oh, we got you, pal. It's all going down this time. He said, not really understanding how that phrase worked. Oof. Perfection. Oh no! Stalfos wizard! One of the worst kinds of wizard, because you're like, where'd you even get your power from? You have no life energy left, except for the one that a uh, another wizard used to reanimate you. Then I realize, oh my god, is he firing his own life energy at me? And is that a finite resource? Because that would mean he values killing me more than he values his own life. A concept I'm not happy with. Thank you! I've learned the skill target shot. That sounds gross. Let's try it out. Uh, power crystal, preemptive preparation gets you interrupted when you receive damage, gotcha. 400% damage. And they slow down? Oh, heck yes. Let's give that a shot. And then we are going to go play some 11-11. Uh, 
a game I recommend wholeheartedly. So I missed that. Well, I didn't so much miss it as there was a fallen arch in the way. Fallen column in the way, anyway. It did not do the... I mean, I know it's the same as doing three hits, but it did not have the... Like, thwomp impact I was hoping to see from it. Just keep walking sideways. He can't do anything to you. It's great. Hours are just so slow in this game. No! So apparently Robin Hood is terrible. And not like terrible in a fun Venom way, but just like dire. Like no one knew. Like, like as if it was made by people who hate the concept of joy. I can't imagine why I'm thinking about Robin Hood right now. I mean, uh, seriously, by all accounts, it is just a terrible, terrible movie. And that makes me sad, because, you know, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Everybody likes Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And if you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to. It has this actor in it called Alan Rickman. He's the best. And I know that there's no one from a generation from the past 50 years who, who isn't aware of Alan Rickman. But I wanted to pretend for a moment like he was this obscure cult figure. Not one of the most beloved actors of the past half century, really. People just love that Alan Rickman. Do you know why? I would say 80% this little movie called Quigley Down Under. And again, if you haven't seen Quigley Down Under, you owe it to yourself to see Quigley Down Under. People are like, oh, he's the guy from Die Hard, or oh, he's the guy from Harry Potter. No, he's the guy from Quigley Down Under. And it's the best, really... Western of the 1980s? No, 1990s. Take that, Unforgiven. I know people like Unforgiven, but uh, Quigley Down Under is the better film. There I said it. Taking a bold choice that threatened to piss off no one. Yeah, I, I feel like it's weird. If this dungeon wasn't randomly generated, then I'm kind of sad. Because it has all of the hallmarks of poor random generation, which is... Well, I'm certainly... Wandering down a hallway, fighting enemies whose placement has had... Like, no thought put into it, or... There's no build-up of... Tension leading up to the attack on a uh, boss enemy. Like, there's no gradual increase of stakes. Really nothing like that. Just just a dungeon. All right, so I'm going to call it here. Obviously, I've checked out emotionally completely. So let's move on to something else. I have been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots. Go in the comments section below the video. If you like... Uh, if you'd like to join me for the Discord, sorry, if you'd like to join me for the, come on, uh, for the live streams for games like these get played, check out the Discord channel, it's back, that's where I announced them. See you back here for more new and upcoming games, yay, a belt, but until then, au revoir.